Hello, this is Abby from ollieholly.com. In this video, I will be showing you some basic crochet techniques and stitches. These are skills that you will need to know before you can start making amigurumi. I'm using a 3.5mm crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. And I'll be using US terminology in this video. So let's get started. The first thing you will need to learn is the chain. But to set up for the chain, you will need to make a slip knot. Making a slip knot is pretty easy. The first thing you need to do is lay the working end of the yarn over the tail end. The tail end is the end where you cut your yarn, and the working end is the end that is closer to your ball of yarn. Lay your working end over the tail to form a fish-shaped loop. Insert your right thumb and index finger into the loop, making sure to not undo the loop when you are doing so. With your fingers, grab a hold of the working end. Pull it up through the loop. Insert your hook into the loop and pull on the working end lightly to tighten until the slip knot is secure around your hook. Make sure that the tail end is on the right side and the working end is on your left. To undo your slip knot, just remove the hook and pull on both ends of the yarn and watch the knot disappear. Let's make a slip knot one more time before moving on to the next part. Lay your working end over the tail to form a fish-shaped loop. Insert your right thumb and index finger into the loop, making sure to not undo the loop when you are doing so. With your fingers, grab a hold of the working end and pull it up through the loop. Pull on both ends to tighten the knot slightly. Insert your hook into the loop and pull on the working end lightly to tighten until the slip knot is secure around your hook. You have just created a slip knot. Before we can get into making a chain, I would just like to show you how I like to hold my yarn and my hook. I like to wrap the working end around my left pinky finger a couple of times. I'll then use my left index finger and my thumb to hold the working end a little closer to the hook. This helps me control the yarn a little bit better. As for how I like to hold my hook, I like to hold my hook like I'm holding a steak knife. I know a lot of people like to hold their hook like a pencil, but it's just not how I like to do it, so I hold it like a steak knife. I also like to place my right index finger over on top of the loop that is currently on my hook. This helps stabilize the loop and I'll show you a little bit later why this is important. And if the tail is getting in the way, I'll hold it against my crochet hook with my right thumb and my middle finger. This is what my hands look like when I'm crocheting. Now that there's a slip knot on our hook, we can make a chain. The chain is the foundation of crocheting, and although it is not used as often when making amigurumi, it is still important to know how to make a chain. To make a chain, yarn over. What yarning over means is that you're taking the working end of your yarn and you're wrapping it around your crochet hook. 
from the back to the front and making sure you're going over the top. The reason why I like to keep my right index finger on top of the loop on my hook is so that when I yarn over, the loop doesn't keep rotating. Now that we're set up, we can finally make a chain. Yarn over, so that's back to front over the top. And with our hook, we're going to be drawing that first, that new loop that we just made through the loop that's already on our hook. So we're drawing that loop through the center and out of that loop. And I find that it helps when you pinch the base of the slip knot with your left thumb and index fingers. Pull through. You have just created one chain. Let's do that again. Yarn over, pinch the base, and pull a loop up through the middle of this loop. We now have two chains. You can distinguish each chain by looking for the letter V, V as in Victor. Each chain will make a letter V shape when you look at it head on. If you're following a pattern, it will tell you how many chains you will need to make. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be making 7 chains. Now that you've made a chain, you will need to crochet into it. Most patterns will tell you where to put your first stitch. The first stitch I will be showing you how to make is a single crochet. We will be making a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Depending on the height of the stitch you are making, the pattern will tell you to work into different chains. So the second chain from the hook. The second chain from your hook is 1 and 2, so it's this one. So let's see that a little closer. Second chain from the hook. This is where you will be making your first single crochet. To make a single crochet in a chain, insert your hook into the center of the chain. So. Your V, insert your hook into the center and out the back. Yarn over and draw a loop up. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over once more and pull it through both of the loops on your hook. This is how you make a single crochet. Let's do that one more time. For this next stitch, we will be working into the chain immediately next to the stitch we have just made. Insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over and draw a loop up. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw it through both of the loops on your hook. Continue making single crochets into the rest of the chains. There are four more chains to go. I will meet you at the end of the chain. Now that we are at the end of the chain, Chain 1, then turn your work so that we can crochet into the 6 single crochet stitches we just made. The way to differentiate your stitches is to look for the V on top, just like we did with the chain. In this round, instead of inserting your hook into the center of the V, you will be inserting your hook underneath 
both legs of the V instead. So underneath both legs of the V. Let's work one single crochet this round so that you get a hang of crocheting into a stitch instead of a chain. After that, I will show you how to make the half double crochet. Making sure to not crochet into the chain one we did at the beginning of the row, insert your hook into the first stitch of your row. Making sure to go underneath both of the legs of the V. Yarn over, draw a loop up, yarn over once more, and draw that through both of the loops on your hook. In the next stitch, we will be making a half double crochet. To make a half double crochet, yarn over before inserting your hook into the next stitch. So, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, so that's underneath both of the legs of the V, yarn over once more, and draw a loop up. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over once more and draw a loop up through all three of the loops on your hook. Let's do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and draw a loop up. You will now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over once more and draw it through all three loops on your hook. You can keep practicing the half double crochet until you get to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. The next stitch I will be showing you is the double crochet. Before we can do that, we will need to set up for the next row. Because the double crochet is taller than the single crochet, we will be chaining two instead of one at the beginning of the next round to compensate for the height of the stitch. Chain two and turn your work. To make a double crochet, Yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, and draw a loop up. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over. Now instead of drawing a loop up through all three of the loops on your hook, you will only be drawing it through these two loops. Draw your loop through. You should have two loops on your hook now. Yarn over one last time and draw it through the two loops that are left on your hook. You've just made a double crochet. Let's do that three more times so that we have two stitches left at the end so I can teach you another stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and draw a loop up. Yarn over and draw it through two of the loops. You should have two loops left on your hook. Yarn over one last time and draw it through both of the loops on your hook.
In the next two stitches, we will be making the triple or treble crochet. The triple crochet is a very tall stitch and isn't used very often, but it's not too different from the double crochet, so I thought I'd just show you how to make it. To make a triple crochet, yarn over twice. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and draw a loop up. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw it through the first two loops. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw it through two loops. You should now have two loops left on your hook. Yarn over one more time and draw it through both of the loops on your hook. You can see how it's slightly taller than the double crochet. Let's do that one more time. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook into the final stitch. Yarn over and draw a loop up. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw it through two loops. You should now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw it through two loops. And now you should have two loops left. Yarn over one last time and draw it through both of the loops that are on your hook. There is one more stitch I want to show you before we end the video. So, to set it up, let's chain one and turn. The final stitch I'm going to be showing you is the slip stitch. This stitch is often used in amigurumi. Here's how you make a slip stitch. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and draw a loop up. Now instead of yarning over and drawing it through both of the loops on your hook, you will just be drawing that new loop through the first loop on your hook. So you'll be drawing this loop through this loop. Let's do that again. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and draw a loop up. Draw that same loop through the loop that is on your hook. To fasten off, you can just take your scissors and snip off the working end. And then just pull your hook up to fasten off. Now that you know the basics of crocheting, the next video you should watch is the Magic Circle tutorial which will prep you for the Amigurumi Basics video. You can find both videos on my channel. Thanks for following along with this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!